<laughs> <laughs> Dude, I could have got snatched. <laughs> you were gonna let me get snatched. <laughs> hey, what's up, my friends and family? Yeah, so uh, there's me and I got my boy Justin over here. What's poppin'? Hey, hey, how does it feel like being 21 in uh, North Satan? Feels great. I don't know why I'm not drunk yet. Yeah. yeah. Hey, it's, we're about to get him some drinks here pretty soon. Uh, we got our mugs. Yes, yeah. Sir. Um, pretty much, I heard there was a Soviet Union themed restaurant in this city. And uh, do a little bit of researching, and I finally found a place that's actually what we're looking for. The place is called Ipoha. Ipoha Restaurant. I think I said that right. All right, so let me show you what we're talking about. Dubai. Look at this. Soviet styled cars. Nice. It'll show, it'll show. It look a little beat up. <laughs> Got some miles on it. Got some miles on it. <laughs> this is Mia Radi. Howdy, it's Vaughn Eden, Eden like the garden. Grab your mug and let's go on a venture and see where it goes. Can I get a photo of what when you're doing next to this thing? Yeah, you can pose in it right now. I just, I'll take a photo on the video. I can Should do we that. ask her if it's in it? No, you can, dude. I've seen people do it. Dude, that's a... Is this real? Can I sit in it? <laughs> okay, jump in there. This is pretty interesting, right? So these are the catfish. Yeah, this is a little museum right here. So here you have the many different styles of cigarettes. You know, very popular item back in the Soviet Union. And uh, I don't know if you know this, but they're the founders of cigarettes. This is the reason why everyone smokes to this day. Because, uh, you know, stress. Just kidding, I don't, I'm just making up things. Don't fact check me. It's just a joke. We look like some tourists, I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah. They're like, who are these tourists? Um, American tourists. Look at that, man, that's really cool. Yeah. This is like the type of stuff you... Oh, sorry. Oh, that's a cool place. Huh? Mm. Uh, Pocatabda. My woods, Aiden. Anastasia. Anastasia. <laughs> yes. Ah. Anastasia. Just. Anastasia. <laughs> <laughs> it's Soviet 
old magazine. Oh, old magazine. Yeah, oh, awesome. A store. <laughs> These are awesome. Stalin. Oh, yeah. There's a Stalin. Mm. Oh, that's the bad guy right there. <laughs> and look at this. В русские слова room? Да, Сталина. Сталина. Сталина кабинка, да. Кабинка, да. Вот. А, это ста. Давай. Это как интервью или что? Ты знаешь, что Сталин здесь? Это Сергей. Сергей. Вот так лучше. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of work to be put in here, you know? So, up in the ceiling. Um, Belarus. Sorry. It's the, that's the Kazakhstan, right? Kazakhstan? Soviet? Soviet Republic of Kazakhstan? Flag? Нет. Нет? Нет. Да. флагс. Вот, по-моему, он вроде бы он, да. Нет, это так, 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 так. That's where you need to go, right there. Down there? Yeah. The next place we're going to has the same kind of thing like this. Можно кепки надеть, сфотографироваться? You want to take a photo over there? Sure. That's, 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 that's the weapons, ski, mini gun. This is the, the maximum gun. <laughs> uh, 33 caliber. <laughs> oh, look, dude, we're going to take a photo. I have, one of, I have a Soviet Union hat from 1957, I think. Where'd you get that? Um, from Belize, this guy was a collector and he gave it to me as a going away. Oh, that's pretty dope. Jig gun, this is a real receiver, man. <laughs> Yo, if I ever try to run and become president, they're gonna see fit fo these photos. They're like, yeah, this. Yo, this is a real 33 caliber. Dude, yeah, landscape. You want a photo? Sure. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, okay. Nice, how to show. Oh, you already look so good. Yeah. You look like you're part of the Red Army. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This one doesn't have it, but like the date was in there. Oh, they had a date? Yeah. But... Damn. Yes, sir. Real Soviet style. 
Anastasia. Uh, Vurushki srova. Uh, Furashka. Furashka. Furashka, da. Furashka. Uh, that's how you say those words. Oh. Vurushka. Furashka. It's a kaska. Uh, kaska. Kaska, da. Mm. Это шлем от танка. Танки. Шлем. 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 Да, танк. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. that's, the, that's a tank's hat. That's what they wear. Tank commander. Да. Хорошо. Hey, yeah. So you like haze like this. <laughs> it's original. Mm. All original. Oh, shoot. Oh, these are youth knives. Look at that. Jeez. Some belt links. Tesak. Что? Tesak? Tesak. 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 Oh, Tesak. Cortic. 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 Carbinka. Cabinka. Это вот cabinka room. Oh, cabinka room. This this is oh dude look at this. So if I ever open up my own bar, I want I want a table like this. In Russia, granata. 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 Yeah. Granata. <laughs> um. You um, robota niet. Twenty. Twelve. Wow. Long time. <laughs> <laughs> you you get you you get uh, many tourists here. Many many. Many. <laughs> and you you sh- you take them around your show, right? <laughs> wow. <clears throat> It's crazy. <laughs> this is like underground, like during World War One, probably. You see their gas mask? You see the shells down there? It's like it's real. <laughs> what if this was like actually real? Like <laughs> <laughs> we're on top of a, a old, old, old military base. Our friend Anastasia, Anastasia, Anastasia. Yes. Uh, she's showing us around from here. Like uh, all these rooms, all the different props here. So it's really interesting. All right, you have real, real guns, real Steiner, uh, real uh, Mazio, Mazio, Schmizer, mm. Schmizer. I think those are German. Mm. Soviet film Black Cat. Oh, what's this? Is this? <laughs> Film. Brav. Brav. Brava Poro Yadok. The Strana. Opera di Lietzia. Near Nalar. Narashim. Barov. It's the black cat booth. Karvinka. This is the prison. Gulag. <laughs> we have a gulag room. It's prison slang. Prison slang, I see. <laughs> this is all prison slang right here. <laughs> uh, I went to Algier. You, you Algier? Know? Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Oh. I went there, yeah. Very, very sad. Uh, <laughs> Anastasia. <laughs> <laughs> Let us out. Yeda, <laughs> Yeda. Look, look at they got toys up there. Oh, that's messed up. 
Mm. Mm. Some naked girl. Sevroto, Miersto, Parasta, Piosto, Nie. Пусто не бывает. Пусто нет. Не бывает. Не бывает. Окей. Okay. Wow. It's kind of like our life, you know? Mm -hmm. We have all this interesting stuff on the tables, man. These tables are like... Dude, you know how much... You a lot of work in these tables. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they have a real lock. Uh, I I like restaurants that put in work like this. Like a lot of. Thanks. Now I'm gonna have to bleep that out. Oh oh. <laughs> I didn't know. It was Marchik room. Marchik. Child room. Child room. Child. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very beautiful. Again, like the... Oh, it's a seal. <laughs> That's cool. It's Kazakh politic. It's a in Russia, Kansamolsky. Что? Что? Констамольская. Констамольская. А, ну вот. Констамольская. Окей. Констамольская. Кабринка. Кабринка из Рум. Да? Она известная Что она делает? Это все Union Lenin's Young Communist League. Комсомор. As a full name, a youth organization of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. It was established as the Russian Young Communist League on October 29, 1918, in 1924. Kamasumo. 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 Was named after V. I. Lenin, Russian Lenin's Young Communist League in March 1926 in the connection with the formation in 1922 of the USSR and it was renamed the All Union Lenin's Communist Young League. Wow. Oh wow, look at that. This is a real flag right here. See this, Justin? Oh shoot. Прохад. Переходящее знамя. Консомольцы давали другим. Yes, this. Спасибо. Look at the stuff, the spear on it. Yeah, yeah. Communist everything, man. Yeah, you're on the phone. Oh, thank you. Yep. Is this, oh wait, let me see. No, that's Lenin. Oh, that's Lenin. Lenin right here. <laughs> yeah, Vladimir Lenin. Oh, his real surname is Ulyon, Ulyonif. Ulyonif Booth. Huh. So Vladimir Lenin is founder of the Marxism, Leninism. Ideology, the founder of the Third International, the founder of the Soviet Union. Under his guidance, the Russian Revolution took place in 1917. He authorized the execution of the royal family in 1918. Nice. And also under his leadership, the Red Terror was carried out, which was destroyed almost the whole, I can't say this word, and this word either, nobility. Noble estates, factories, and plants were nationalized. Everywhere, private ownership of land was destroyed. Regardless of the positive or the negative assessment of Lenin's activities, 
Every many non-communist researchers consider him the most significant revolutionist statesman in the world history. So, what happened here, Lenin? Uh, yeah. Okay, now for the record, just in case either Justin or myself ever become any kind of politician in America. We are not communists. Yes, we're not communists. <laughs> Let's say that again. I'm not a communist. I'm just trying to eat lunch. <laughs> Uh, McDonald's was closed. <laughs> McDonald's was closed. That capitalism. <laughs> now nah, we, but it is very interesting to you know this this was a former Soviet Union country, so it's interesting to see these post-Soviet Union countries and see how they they're starting like thrive off without the whole Soviet Union the fall of it. So, I mean, I really admire me and Justin. We both admire seeing like restaurants that put so much detail into it, and I mean. Obviously, you, you met our, our waitress, Anasta Anastasia. She was very kind just to show us around. And people are not ashamed of their past history. And it's like, I, and they shouldn't. It's, it makes you for who you are and what kind of people are in your country. Um, look at America, for example. Look at all the other countries everywhere. People should take pride in what's happened in their history. Um, so I, like going back to what I'm saying is like I really admire the amount of detail and the amount of work um, the anesthetics of the whole interior of this restaurant I'm gonna put in the, the location give you guys the details so if you're ever in Nur Sultan aka Astana in Kazakhstan you guys can stop by and check this place out um, yeah, it's pretty cool very cool all right so now we're gonna get into our drinking Yes, uh, every time you give it to hey remember the eye oh, contact yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. For, for, yeah. <laughs> uh, cheers and good health and for a good night and we'll see how much we remember <laughs> we'll see how long hey so tell me about your story in belize all right so we'll talk about zoos here never been a big person on zoos but when i was in belize you could take your mask off oh yeah <laughs> we live with each other when I was in Belize, I grew a big interest in the zoo there because every time we'd go, it was just very interesting because you were able to get so close to the animals because the safety regulations were non-existent. <laughs> the, the fences were about six feet high, so for like the monkeys. Real quick. Oh yeah. Are we going down this way? No, this is this cool. This is content. Yeah. Right. For me, it's appreciation of art. <laughs> Uh, so you're getting close to monkeys. You're getting close to monkeys at any point they could just climb over. There's a six foot fence but the tree's about 20 feet high. At any point if they if they wanted to they could get to you. Same thing with a jag jaguar. And a regular, Wait, what? They had jaguars. So I'll show you a video where I could have pet one because in a regular situation there's like in America where they'll have like a glass or you know you're so far apart this one's like chicken wire literally the jaguar would be on the other edge of the fence right here so you could stick your finger in there and pet it it's a jaguar a real like big, big ass jaguar oh uh, jaguar or a baby or one no, no no a real one i'll show you the video because it's over it's on my instagram it's like purring and everything and like the person behind me even said like he's gonna get you and he, like he made me jump because i thought it was gonna bite me but like that's the thing is like they don't have like a full enclosure they just got fences that are chicken wire and very you could get up and close and personal to the the animals versus other zoos so again it's like it was always a fun experience it's crazy all right so is this like a national zoo or it was or is it, it just like a some freaking you can tell some shady kind of zoo no 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 this, this is one of their more funded zoos but again it was it was belize it was, it was the most popular zoo that we knew of and it's got multiple animals in it again yeah like like you're asking it was actually a very popular and like what they thought was safety they, they pulled at least uh, over 200 people a day no no belize wasn't very popular but they still pulled out a good crowd yeah what Actually, maybe close to 200 on a on a good busy day, but yeah, people are coming in out like little kids and shit, me and stuff. Um, a lot of people are coming in and out. I'm surprised they haven't had too many accidents, but uh, I mean, they probably did, but they don't talk about it. Probably. It's like every day. Okay, someone became someone's lunch meat today. 
Well, that's how they feed the animals. There's like the little kids that put their fingers in there. Just a little snack for the leopard. Hey, so uh, if you're in a capital Belize and you ever want to go to a very interactive zoo, yeah, just go to that place. Hopefully it's changed by now. Yeah, my battery's about to die. Yeah.